Hello and welcome to this video series on Grade Center Basics. In part one we'll cover column types, both the automatically created columns and manually created columns in Grade Center. We'll start by navigating to the full Grade Center. In our control panel we'll click Grade Center and Full Grade Center. And you can see we have a number of columns here. These columns are created in two different ways. There's automatically created columns, which are generated by creating gradable content in Blackboard, such as assignments or discussions, or by manually creating them. Let's first talk about the automatically created columns. Anything that we assign a point value to in Blackboard will automatically create a column. This includes discussions, assignments, and other Blackboard items. For our example, let's use an assignment. So we're going to navigate to a lessons area and under the assessments menu we're going to choose assignment. We'll give the assignment a name. We can add instructions or description here. We can attach a file for reference for students. If we enter a due date an item will automatically be created on the calendar in Blackboard. Here's where we'll add the points. We have the option to add a rubric and we do have videos available for more information on rubrics in Blackboard. Under the submission details we can assign this work to, an in, to the, each individual in the course or to a group if we're using um, groups and we do have other videos that talk about groups. We can allow a single attempt, multiple attempts, or an unlimited number of attempts. So if students are uploading a file and you want them to be able to give it two tries, then you can set that to multiple attempts and enter the number two. You can set it to unlimited, or you can leave it at the default of a single attempt. The Safe Assign tool is not something we recommend. We've not found it to be a very um, accurate tool for preventing plagiarism. Under the grading options, you can enable anonymous grading or delegated grading. And anonymous grading would hide the students' names during the grading process, so you would just be grading work but not really uh, be shown whose work you are grading and then delegating to another user in the course is not something we really use here at OTC. Now under grade display you have primary and secondary and we'll see these primary and secondary displays throughout Grade Center. The primary display is what students will see in their view of Grade Center and the secondary display will only be visible to the instructor. So it's important that we set the primary display to something that makes sense for students. Uh, percentage or letter is what we most often recommend and then the secondary display is entirely up to you. Now we do want to make sure that this is included in Grade Center calculations. If we change that option, it won't count towards the grade. And we want to show this to the students in their My Grades area. If we uncheck that, students won't be able to see that item in their view of grades. Showing the statistics will show students the average and median scores uh, for the entire class on the item. We have availability limits so we can make the we want to leave the make assignment available option always selected but then if you wanted to limit the times when students would have the ability to submit their work for this assignment you can do so by setting the date and time here and then once you have all your options completed click submit well, we can see our item is created here and if we go back to full grade center we'll see our assignment one column has been created there. Now for assignments that are not submitted through Blackboard such as in-class discussions, papers that are physically handed in to you, or other sorts of work that's done in class, for those we would manually create a column. So back in Full Grade Center we'll click the Create Column button and you'll see a lot of of the options are similar to those that we had when we created an automatically created column using the assignment function. So we'll give the assignment a name. Call this one assignment 2. 
Uh, the grade center name doesn't need to be added. It'll default to what you have for the column name. You can add a description, but it's not required. And once again, you'll see those primary and secondary displays. So we're going to go ahead and set this to percentage so the students can kind of understand uh, how well they did on that assignment. And we'll leave the secondary display uh, to none. So for categories, those are important if you're using weighted grades, and we'll have a video on weighted grades in, later in the series. We're going to add our points here. Again, we have the option to set a rubric, and again, if we, if we enter a due date, that will create an item on the calendar automatically. And here we have those same uh, options that we saw previously. We, can we want to include this column in the Grade Center calculations. We do want to show the column to students, and again, we have the option of displaying for the students the average and median scores on the item for the class. So once we have all of our options set, we'll click Submit. And back in the Full Grade Center, again, we'll scroll all the way over to the end, and we see a, our column for Assignment 2. All right, now you know um, about automatically created columns and how to create your own columns. Be sure to check out the rest of the Grade Center Basics series. And as always, be awesome.